we all have our responsibilities as we go through life. Except when you're a very tiny child and when you get very, very old. At times like that, everything seems pointless. So have the right attitude toward your responsibilities. You're doing something for yourself. You're doing something for the world. You're taking on duties that otherwise would fall to other people, which is a good thing, that you're taking your share. But at the same time, you have to know when, when to put them down. So right now, all the affairs of the world, you can put them in, away. As the Buddha said, putting aside greed and distress with reference to the world, you focus on the body in and of itself. That's all you're responsible for right now. How you're relating to your inner sense of the body, how you're re relating to your feelings, your mind states. This is work too, but it's a different kind of work. It's work right here. And John Lee gives an example. He says, there our taskmasters outside can be really difficult and harsh. When we come to the meditation, we still have a taskmaster. We've got the Buddha, but he's kind. All the things he has us do are for our own good. When he was passing away, he told Ananda that the devas were raining flowers and scents and singing heavenly music, playing heavenly instruments in honor of him. He says, that's not how you do honor to the Tathagata. You do it by practicing the Dharma in line with the Dharma. And of course, you're the one that benefits from practicing the, the Dharma in line with the Dharma. The Buddha doesn't get any benefit from it, aside from the satisfaction that all that effort went into, went into finding the Dharma is appreciated. But still, it's ultimately for our own good. So take on these duties for the time being. When you have to take on the duties of the world, remember these duties are they're always there in the background. And here's a time you can bring them up to the foreground. So all you have to do is develop concentration. Any stress comes up, you try to comprehend it to the point where you can see what's causing you try to abandon the cause. And that way you're working toward the ultimate duty, which is to realize the cessation of suffering. At that point, the mind doesn't have any debts any, at all. Whatever you can do for the world, you do as a pure gift. So in the meantime, we do have our debts, which is why we have our duties outside. But in order to do them well, you want to make sure that these inside duties get taken care of. And then you have time to put your outside duties down for the time being and just be totally right here. So by following these duties, you're showing an act of compassion to yourself and to the world around you. You're not being selfish. You're not being the sort of person who just lets everybody go to hell while you're saving yourself. The fact that you're responsible for your mind in the right way means that you're responsible in the world in the right way, too. <laughs>